Hey guys, that was my way of getting some music going there. So, something I find a lot of lately at uh, the fish store is these kind of like oddball sort of tablets. And this one I, I think I highlighted already, but it's sort of like a pro scan, sort of Chinese low spec sort of. Um, tablet and frankly it's not really worth buying something like this in comparison to a lot of the stuff you can get another interesting you can get thing you can get which i don't know if you can see it very well because of that there we go is these nav nav systems i'm fooling around with this exploring how this works um and i'm planning on just trying it out see how it works i mean when you pick something up for 10 bucks it's kind of like, well, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I've learned something. Anyway, here we go. So this is an Amazon tablet. This is an Amazon Fire tablet. Let's just try and straighten this out here. There we go. And it comes with its own sort of very Amazon-y limited lockdown sort of system with lots of advertising and trying to sell product to you. And so my feeling on this tablet is it's really kind of a weird one. It's not really worth keeping it as it is, but if you can, you can install an alternative sort of interface. I've installed Evi, I think that's how you say it, which allowed me to install a file browser, which made it more like a regular standard sort of um, um, Android system. So what's the, the nice thing about that is I can now install the apps that I like, right? So. So there you go. So that's the advantage of this sort of um, installing this sort of thing. And how you do that is it, you basically use something called Fire Toolbox. It's something you can download onto your, your computer and basically installs to your computer. You, there's a few steps you need to go through. One of them being that you have to go into the, there we go, into here. And you gotta tap on device option, and you gotta type the serial, tap on the serial number about four or five times, and then it goes into developer mode. And in developer mode, you can actually do a lot with it. So, uh, in developer mode, then you can go into using this uh, Fire uh, Toolbox, and you can do all kinds of stuff. And then, once you got the fire toolbox going, then, let's get that out of the way, we can get into Evie, Evie, however you say that, which is this, which is a lot nicer. There's no ads, and you just, let's see, pull that up, and that's your list of apps. You can de-Amazonize de the thing and hide off, hide all the, the you know, the, the push promotional stuff and uh, and you can just disable like auto updating and now you've got yourself more or less what I would call a functional uh, app set up for a Android system the only problem I find is it doesn't have much storage capacity I check the storage hit it okay careful how you hit hit things all right here we go storage this tells you the story right here can you read that three three point seven six gigabytes of five point six two 
gigabytes storage. So not a lot of storage on this thing. Now it does, the advantage it has, it does have storage capability here. You pop this open and you can put in a little micro uh, SD card. So I can increase the storage. I believe I have an eight, eight um, a gigabyte card I could use for it if I feel like doing that. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. So that's more or less the situation. Eve, Evie, Evie. Um, it runs basically in sort of as an application almost, because if you actually hit the, uh, here, it'll take you back to the, the Google, the, not Google, but the uh, Amazon kind of Kindle system but you can always jump back into it. And this is where I would be working from. And I would be putting, you know, using my apps like this one, where I can be in dark mode and or night mode or whatever. And I can hook up the value of this over something like this ProScan thing. Big problem with this, it doesn't even have uh, Bluetooth, if you can believe that. So yeah. You don't want to be wasting your time with something that basic. This does have Bluetooth, so that's that's nice, right? It has Bluetooth and things like that. So there you go, guys. That's my my newest uh, store find an Amazon Fire Seven from 2017, I believe. So not, you know, not uh, very new, but um, it's certainly good enough for, you know, an Android tablet. And be just to, you know, for the few, you know, uh, watchers out there, yes, this thing sends tons of data to everybody. Your privacy is not insured, but the things I do on these tablets are strictly hobby based. So. They can harvest all the data they want from my playing around with apps and things like that. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is it. That's going to be my my uh, tablet. Actually, let's get that up and around again. Doo -doo. Let's do that. Here we go. Let's do a thumbnail here for what I got at the thrift store. <laughs>